Hey guys, it's Tuesday Inspiration with Toby. My name is Uluwa Toby Olarindi. So good to connect with you. This month of March has been so amazing. I'm sure that you're having a, a wonderful one. Yes, yeah, so let's go straight to today's topic, which is patterns. Patterns. Now, what what can a pattern mean? It's possible you know that so oh yeah, maybe there's a pattern on your shirt. You know, quite this pattern. <laughs> But you know, there are patterns that you've learned. Patterns could mean that something that is reoccurring, something that is, you know, um, repeated. Now, so, so many of us as children, we pick up attitudes and habits from our parents. Now, some of us pick up these attitudes and habits from maybe our friends or our society. And this now transcends to you know the points where we now feel like okay that's the way to live now if you're born in maybe a very rural area and you're not seeing what is going on in other parts of the country or in other parts of maybe the city you'll feel like yes at that point this is like the best so when somebody's telling you that all oh, your ideologies are not right and um, what is being done in your place is not really or absolutely correct you feel like oh yeah they are talking down on you and you know you begin to just feel agitated there's no point feeling agitated when you know that whatever that you've learned might not be the absolutely correct thing now so many people would also look at it from the angle that yes uh, patterns they can be positive patterns yes you could you know, you learn how to speak um, properly you know comport yourself in public or probably speak to people or convince people those are also patterns your father or mother or you know siblings might have that strength which is also pink yes positive patterns but i want to focus more on the negative patterns maybe anger maybe you know um, being dirty or maybe just you know doing things in a very irrational manner some of us will look at maybe our parents and we'll say like oh yeah i don't want to do what my dad was doing when he was my age or when he tried to give birth to children or when he was giving birth to us i don't like how my father was speaking to my mother i don't like how my mother was speaking to my father yes when you come to the consciousness of the fact that these patterns are there these patterns can be inherited because sometimes they are inward uh, you know, you probably might not even know that you picked them up. When you come to the realization of the fact that yes, there's a need to adjust, then you would start to make a meaning. You do not have to say that yes, because this is how it's being done. So many people will say that, oh, this is what they do in the eastern part of Nigeria, for example. So if you do it in the northern part, it is wrong and all of that. Yes. You respect traditions, you respect cultures, but any culture or tradition that will be causing barriers or causing war or causing, you know, discord between two parties or two people, you know, would not be a good pattern. Now, in some tribes also all over the world, for example, let me not even start for the tribes, let me look at a white man for example who has learned over the years that black people are inferior to him and is becoming racist and he feels like yeah this person is inferior to me so i can talk down on the person i can do whatever i like that's a pattern that he or she has learned it is important for you to now deliberately unlearn those things or the black man saying that oh, the white man is always feeling that I'm inferior. Even when you meet somebody who is not feeling you're inferior, you are already throwing up a defense and you begin to talk in manners that are also not pleasant. And they say, oh yeah, Africans or black Americans or African Americans are too, you know, too arrogant, they're too controlling and all of that. So a lot of things, a lot of patterns that we all have learned. Now, let me now come to the tribe. Now, even in Yoruba land, where I come from, Yoruba land in Nigeria, in West Africa, Africa, um, some people will tell you that you don't talk to some people that are from this part of the West or the Southwest. Say, oh, this particular set of people, this is what they do, their families are evil, this is that, blah, you know, blah, blah. 
to just say all sort of things that that informs our decisions that when you see somebody who is from there no matter what good the person does because of the patterns you learn you feel like this person is no good or of no use to you or of no good to you you need to understand that it is a very good thing for you to unlearn patterns because if you don't unlearn patterns they begin to affect you not just affect you affect your society not just affect your society affect your children unborn not just affect your children unborn affect your generation because when the patterns are not adjusted when the patterns are not you know given a, a fresh outlook such that it could turn from negative to positive then you see that there'll be a lot of trouble oh yeah because this person screams when he talks i need to scream too no that's not it this person doesn't know how to talk to people just insults everybody and if you pop and yes so my father fights on the streets my mother fights on the street my sisters fight on the street and that's like the pattern i want to live with no it's a wrong mentality so you have to adjust it let go of this negative pattern and let your life take shape. There's this quote from someone I respect so much, and he says, pay attention to your pattern. The ways you learn to survive may not be the ways you want to continue to live. Heal and shift. Heal and shift. Those are the words of Dr. Temer Brian Davis. You need to heal and shift. You need to change your mentality. You need to change your ideologies. You need to change these patterns. You need to have a better version of your generation. And just watch that things will begin to work well. I will talk more a lot about patterns maybe much later in the month of April. But I want you to know that negative patterns are never friendly to anybody. So adjust today and let's things just begin to take shape positively. My name again is Oluwatobi Olarinde. I'll see you next week. Thank you for joining me. Bye.